Sega. Oh, cool. I was hoping it would start with this. Love it. Welcome back to Rob's Arcade, guys. This feels like a Rob's Arcade right here. I'm your host, Rob French, of course. tell you right now that is never going to get old and these games don't get old I'm not getting old no I'm getting old I am very old I'm a 42 year old gamer my name is Robert French Armstrong the third and we are hanging out here in Rob's arcade it's Friday TGIF so it's time to order yourself a pizza from Domino's Pop on an episode of Full House, Perfect Strangers, kick back with some retro New Game Friday action here on Rob's Arcade. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with New Game Friday, you're probably not a subscriber. So the first thing you're going to want to do before we continue is hit that subscribe button. And while we do, we're going to have my beautiful friend Buck bring us in with his lovely rendition of Rob's Arcade. The theme song. Rob's arcade, Rob's arcade, where the games get played and the games get saved so they can be played on another day. Rob's arcade. All right, now that it's an official episode and you are now officially a subscriber, thank you so much, guys. Uh, let me just kind of explain real quick, reiterate to all of you out there what New Game Friday is all about. Now. New Game Friday is not necessarily about new games or new titles, but simply new games, new titles within my game library. Or perhaps these are new titles and new games, or excuse me, old titles <laughs> that I haven't simply done a video on yet. I'm getting lost in my little room here. This is really cool. I like this a lot. You can kind of navigate through. This actually looks a lot like my room did back in the day. I mean, uh, different uh, video game posters for sure. Oh, let's do audio settings because, um, yeah, these, uh, game, um, These old school uh, games can be really loud. I did one for Capcom, and oh my gosh, that was so loud. I might go back and do another one of those. Actually, but yeah, this looks a lot like my room back in the day. This is pretty funny. Uh, it was basically like, yeah, TV, had different movie posters everywhere. Um, so very cool. We've got the TV, load, full screen. Oh, okay, okay. This is pretty sick. I like the setup. Now, <clears throat> I was a little hesitant on doing this. Like I said, these are new games and new titles in my library. This is a new title I just downloaded. Uh, it's on sale right now at the PlayStation Store, and I got a gift card. And I was kind of hesitant because I already have a ton of these games already. Like, I have a lot of, like, hardcore copies of these games. And then I also have, uh, like, a like a, a knockoff. I don't want to say knockoff Sega, but it's like a third party made this system. And it has, like... A ton of games already like downloaded into uh, I feel like all of these games are already in um, yeah all of these titles I feel like are already loaded into that system and I was kind of hesitant on on downloading this but it was only ten dollars and 
I love uh, retro gaming. Like, I'm a retro gamer. I'm an old school gamer. Like I said, I'm 42 years old. And um, just kind of cycling through here, let you kind of check out some of these games. Uh, I was a little hesitant because I already have so many of these games already, like I said, available to play on my Sega Genesis console. They're already like downloaded into the system. It was like one of those things, I'm sure you've seen it, like Walmart, Target, where you buy uh, like a Nintendo or a Sega and it's got like 50 or so games built in. And then it also has a cool feature where it's not just a um, like a solid system where you can't use carts. It's just like downloaded games. This has actually like a, a slot in the top so you can actually not only play the downloaded games, which like I said are all of these here, but you can go and buy stuff like Jurassic Park and other titles that aren't included and um, and, and play those as well. Oh, no. <clears throat> Let's go down here. We go. Vector Man, Vector Man 2, Virtual Fighter 2. I don't think Wonder Boy was part of the old collection. Actually, you know, I'm going to have to like... Uh, I want to do like a comparison, maybe in like another video. Kid Chameleon, that was a really fun game. Uh, maybe in another video I'll compare and see exactly what titles are included in this that aren't included in... Um, you know, um, my other system. Because I feel like there will probably be some some variations. I feel like there might be like maybe one or two titles that are not on my system that might be in here. Because I also feel like this has mostly just Sega games. The other system has like some Master System games maybe or some like just like they're not really like Sega Sega games. So it would be kind of gain ground. I don't feel like that was on the old system. Gunstar Heroes, I don't feel like that was on the old system. It's already Toe Jam and Earl. I'm not quite sure about that. I don't think those guys were in there. Although I do have Toe Jam and Earl the cart. Got some Shinobi. Surprise Mortal Kombat isn't on here, but that's a pretty seriously licensed game. So anyway, yeah, I wanted to uh, to do this because, like I said, I like playing retro games, and um, we're going to go ahead and start with, like, the first game I actually ever played on Sega. Oh, I love this. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's cute. That's super freaking cute right there. I love that a lot. Guess that's the start button. Okay, perfect. Love this. All right. So this was actually the very first game I ever played on uh, Sega Genesis, and I remember um, my uh, my brother, my older brother, half brother, but my older brother Greg um, had come over that night and actually showed me like how to beat this game. Like he's like, dude, I'll show you. Like it's it's real simple. Uh, there's like a little trick. Uh, him and his friends. He was a lot older. He was like uh, in his gosh like his, his college years uh, when I was just like 12 or so and um, <clears throat> I feel like the Sega Genesis was definitely like a college uh, late high school um, kind of system and uh, him and his buddies had one I guess like you know in their college room or whatever and so he came over and he's like, dude, you've got a Sega? And I was like, yeah, man. And he like showed me uh, how to beat this game literally like the first the first night I got it. He's like, dude, just stand under your score, hit your A button, and the dude the dude can't hit you. I'm like, are you serious? He's like, yeah, man, just like just stand. I guess like a mobile too. There we go, it's probably more close. Like, yeah, just stand like under your score. Just keep pressing your power button. You yeah, look at that, see? They just like, the little heads just like fly all around you. See that? Perfect. Boom. Still works to this day. So yeah, I wanted to hang out. I want to do some retro gaming on these new game Fridays. You know, like I, I just, uh, this is, this is what I grew up with. This is what, you know, um, <clears throat> I myself, uh, you know, spent my afternoons and my weekends playing. I know a lot of times today it's like Fortnite and Grand Theft Auto, 
Spider-Man and Gears of War and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, this is, uh... This was it back in the day for me. This is what I spent my weekends playing. And I, I've, I've shared this story uh, in other videos. Um, oh, no, turn around, dude. Oh, man. Uh, but the uh, the first time I came across the Sega Genesis was actually like it was just by, uh, not really by accident, but I had no idea, oh, this is not good, what uh, a Sega Genesis was. And... Uh, that's kind of rare uh, today, uh, especially like in the video game industry where, um, man, I'm not doing good at all. This is like, you got to get the blue. Oh, man. You got to get the blue wolf thingies. I'm getting my butt handed to me in this. Oh, my gosh, this is not good. I'm trying to like tell the story. And uh, I don't think I've ever done this bad, ever. Uh, but yeah, so like, uh, I've, I've told this story before, oh my gosh, in other videos, and uh, oh my gosh, this is insane. This is so funny, it's pathetic. All right, so I wonder if this will work. So it used to be if you press A and start at the same time, and I guess that would be, these two... Yeah, okay, perfect. Sweet. So if you press square and the options button, you can pick up. That was another trick I learned. Uh, oh my gosh. This is pathetic. Oh, this is so pathetic. Dude, hit the, the thing. Get some power up. There we go. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, so back in the day, I had no idea what a Sega Genesis was, which if you think about it, it doesn't sound crazy, but like nowadays, everybody knows like if, like what the new like PlayStation 5 looks like before it comes out, right? They know when it's coming out, the release dates, uh, even like um, they know uh, like prototypes, like what concepts, like, you know, just everything about the system is available uh, before the system even hits the, you know, the shelves. And back in the day, you know, we had like magazines and commercials and stuff, but I just, I had no idea. Like I, I had never seen a Sega Genesis advertised. I just, I had no idea what this thing was. And then all of a sudden um, my dad comes home uh, one Friday night, my mom's um, finally, here we go. Time to kick some butt. My mom is um, working. She worked at a, at a restaurant, so she's out, you know, working Friday night. My dad comes home, and uh, you know, he's like, come on, you know, get your shoes on, kids. We're, we're going out. And I'm like, where are we, where are we going? And uh, he takes us to Toys R Us, which is awesome. Like, you know, we're like about 11 years old this time 10 12 years old something like that and uh, he takes us to Toys R Us but he doesn't let us walk around he um makes us like hang out up front <clears throat> while he uh, like goes to the customer service desk and we're like you know why, why can't we look around this is something else to back in the day like you had a uh, a turbo controller you just like lock down turbo Look at that, see? Just standard your score, man. Just hit hit that button. You can't you can't lose. If you can get to the end of the level, it's really easy. <laughs> uh but yeah, so he had us like stand up front at Toys R Us while he got this like ticket, had them slip the thing in the bag, and then we went next door to Lawn John Silver and uh, got some dinner. Came home. He wouldn't let us look in the bag. Like, he would not let us see what he had uh, picked up from Toys R Us, which was, like, super annoying. Oh, come on. You got to be kidding me. And um, it's like, you know, you got to finish your food or whatever. So we ate dinner. We, we were watching uh, Perfect Strangers on uh, TGIF. Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh, you jerk butt. I hate you, rib guy. Oh, man. So we're watching uh, Perfect Strangers on uh, TGIF. And then... Um, oh, man. Remember the trick. Hold down start. Press... Press A. Hold down start. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, he um, finally took this thing out of the bag after we finished our our dinner. And of course, you know, we're like, what is this thing? Oh, come on. That's such a cheap ripoff. And he's like, hook it up. Let's see. Let's, let's try it out. So we hook it up. And um, I'm like, Sega Genesis, what is this? It came with Ultra Beast. It came with this game. Uh, and like I said, my cousin, my cousin, excuse me, um, my my brother came over just a little while later and uh, showed me all the, the tricks on this game. And I actually, I beat this game, this was a Friday night when I got the system. Um, gosh, a Friday night, like many, like like this Friday night, many years ago. Um, and I actually beat the game, like Saturday. Like Saturday, I had actually beat the game, which was uh, something I'd never done before. Like up until that point, you know, playing like Nintendo, um, you know, it takes days, sometimes weeks, to complete a game, and I was able to knock this game out uh, within the first 24 hours of having the system. Power, Power up. I always love the fact that he gets huge, but his head basically stays the same size. <clears throat> Punch me in the back of the neck, bro. Hmm. No! It's gonna take a long, a little, little while to get used to this uh, again. It's been some years, people, since I've actually run through some Altered Beasts, and it's not easy talking and and playing at the same time. And this is a different setup too. Like I'm used to the, honestly, like when I play Sega, it's something about these games and um, the PlayStation controller. I'm just I. I still have had so much difficulty getting used to uh, playing, um, I'm gonna die, older games, uh, maybe not, oh, turn to the wolf right away and then just start kicking butt. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Just do this. Might be able to, I might be able to, I might be able to win if I just keep pressing this button. Uh, but yeah, I've had the hardest time, um... <clears throat> See, that should actually give me health, right? You would think, like... Um... It would hook me up. Uh, but yeah, playing games like, um... Even... Oh! No! <sighs> playing games like, uh, Resident Evil, um, 4, um... Sonic, just different things that I've played on other systems like uh, like the Sega Genesis or the uh, the GameCube. Uh, playing them on this controller, it's just it's never easy. I'm so used to the other format, and I get all spun around. Oh come on, you! What was that? That was weird. To go back and like see whatever like weird subliminal message was hidden just now. Here we go. Jump. Power up. <clears throat> oh come on, come on! This is I'm pressing the buttons. I don't know if like you can probably hear. Me like clicking the button in the background. I'm pressing the buttons. Power up. These old games, though, they're like the the hit radius, uh, the the jump radius, the jump reaction time. Like all of it's like so, so. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! So wonky. 
And you gotta love that, like, you know, that position where you're in the in the back of the screen here, and something just like like that just pops up. Oh, there you go. You know, like, how would you really defend yourself against that in the real world? Like, somebody just, like, shows up out of nowhere behind you. You can't even... Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh, it's so dumb. All right. Is there a way to go back? How do you go back? How do you... Is there a way? Exit? How do you exit out? Rewind. Okay. That's a weird feature. Alright, how do you... A quick save. Quick load. Power up. How do you... Power up. Press start. But I don't want to press start. I want to um, exit. Oh, wait. It's right there in the corner. Hold the mouse pad to exit. Do you see that? It's the giant letters, but it's the same color as the screen. They should probably um, change that up a little bit. Wow, okay, very cool. So um, there we go for the first part of uh, Rob's Arcade. Um, some, some Ultra Beast, very cool. Um, let's take a look at some of these other games. But first, I am going to take a look at the bathroom. Take a little, uh, little wee wee break. <laughs> that was so stupid. Wee wee break. What am I ten? Um, and we'll be back with more uh, Rob's Arcade. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna review this, of course. Um, give it my full uh, uh, rating system, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now it's a keeper. You know, I, I do a lot of uh, keep it or sweep it type of a thing. And this is definitely a keeper. I wouldn't have bought the game if it wasn't a keeper. So that's already um, <clears throat> pretty much been established. Uh, but like I said, don't go anywhere, guys. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Hit the um, comment section for me. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you think. Remember, this is not goodbye. Simply to be continued. And until next time, don't spend that quarter anywhere else.